But the popularity of television shows like Peaky Blinders, Game of Thrones and Doctor Who mean that increasing numbers of people are coming to the UK and want to visit the set of their favourite shows. Yes, yeah, you probably know, Coronation Street, the set is very close to where we are here in Salford Keys. In fact, it's just across the water. And if we cast our cameras over that way, Ben is there for us this morning in Coronation Street, outside the pub. Inside the pub, it's early. Yes. Good morning. Yeah, it's a bit early for a pint in the Rovers, isn't it? But my, 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 if these cobbles could talk, the stories they could tell. Yes, we've come down to one of Britain's most famous streets, I dare say, one of Britain's most eventful streets. It's had more than its fair share of births, deaths, marriages, divorces, scandals, tram crashes as well. You may well think, why on earth would you come here? You'd never know what might happen. Well, people are increasingly drawn to visit sets like this and see where their favourite characters' uh, storylines have played out. In fact, this set tour here gets a 1,000 visitors a day. That's up on last year, up by 14%. And it's not just people travelling locally. They come from all over the world, from Finland, Canada, even as far afield as New Zealand. And it's a real trend, not jet-setting, but set jetting. In fact, around a third of people coming to the UK say they're drawn here to see where their favourite shows are filmed. And that all adds up worth something in one year alone, worth something like £892 million to the UK economy. So what is the appeal of doing set tours? I went along to another one to find out. You could well be forgiven for thinking you're looking at the newest addition to the cast of Emmerdale. Uh, I'm not, but I am here on the set where they film the show and I've come to find out about set tours like this one happening today and the rise in popularity of UK Days Out. Now, a little secret for you here. We have people travel from around the world to come here. You know, I do these tours every weekend. We have people from New Zealand, South Africa, Canada. They fly in even from the Caribbean to spend time here. Yorkshire's a very, very special place. Well, we're from Kaikoura in New Zealand, and we came here especially for the Emmerdale tour. It was really high on our priority of things to do when we came here. Really keen. You must be big fans of the show, then. Yeah, we are. I started first and brought him in, and now he loves it as well. We watch it together every night. Huge fans. This it was bought as a, as a Christmas present from one of our sons. I was really looking forward to doing it. Uh, tried to choose a nice day, and we seem to have done that. Um, yeah, I've watched it for since probably the late 70s, early 80s. Action. We love Emma Dale. Don't miss an episode. Um, yeah. And we're cousins, and we usually try and treat ourselves to a full day out somewhere, and this was one of the ideas. So. And I kept saying, I've never been. It's on my bucket list. We've got to do it. People are coming to the UK to come on holiday that might usually spend most of their time in London at London-based attractions. And coming up to you know, Leeds and Manchester to visit Emmerdale and Coronation Street is bringing that tourism further north, spending time in our hotels, our restaurants and our bars, and enjoying the beautiful countryside and the other things to see and do in the north of England. Part of the appeal of tours like this one is people having the chance to take photos outside the iconic locations from their favourite shows. And the same is true of other film and TV sets as well, which are also proving popular. The BBC series Peaky Blinders, although set in Birmingham, is filmed across the northwest of England, with tours focusing on the Liverpool locations. Meanwhile, fans of Game of Thrones are drawn to Belfast for the official studio tour of the HBO hit. Whether fantasy, fiction or farm, it seems viewers are increasingly keen to not only watch, but step in to their favourite shows. Well, that's a state of the economy in Weatherfield. Look at that, four pages of local jobs. There's a growing economy for you. Um, let's speak to Alfie, who's one of the tour guides who shows people around. Alfie, what do people enjoy most? What are the most popular bits here? So the most popular bits, obviously, we've got the cabin uh, just over here, owned by Rita. You've got Brian Pacamoni at now, the paperboy, very iconic. You've also got Webster's Garage just over on this side. Many famous characters either worked or broken down in their cars over here. Underworld, always under siege, on fire, blowing up, everything like that. But not at the weekends. Iconic Gail Platt lives here at number eight. 
We're on, of course, the classic quarry cobbles. People come from all over just to walk along these cobbles as well. And you'll notice the infamous cladding, number nine, home to, of course, Jack and Vera Duckworth. Not anymore, though, but still loved by many over on that side of the street. OK, Alfie, thanks very much for that quick tour. Uh, we're going to come over here because in Jack and Vera's house, it's not someone who is part of Coronation Street, but from ITV, we've got AJ. AJ, come and have a chat to us. Hello. So you're involved in, in kind of the, 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 the business side of things. People will be watching this thinking, this looks great. This looks really fun. But actually, as a day out, it adds up. You know, in terms of the costs, a family, it, it, it can get quite expensive, this sort of thing. Well, we feel it's a very unique place to visit. It's obviously a live working set. It's the longest running show in the world. Uh, and we feel that ticket prices are comparable to other attractions in the region and indeed across the UK. Obviously, the numbers add up. We've got a lot of visitors each week. Uh, it also adds to the local Greater Manchester economy. In fact, the first two years of the tour it added 25 million to the Greater Manchester economy. So it's great to see our visitors spending time in the city as well as with us. And when you, you know, when you, you look at this, it is a working set. I mean, we are on the cobbles where every episode is filmed. How do you, how do you navigate that between the filming schedule and the tours? I'm making sure people don't go running up to the characters midway through filming. Yeah, our filming schedules are really tough. We film 50 weeks of the year. We only close for two weeks at Christmas. But at weekends, we hand over to tours, and that's when our tourists, our visitors, are allowed to come on the set. So obviously, they're not going to run into shot or run up to their favourite character. However, we do run star tours every weekend where people do get to visit um, and meet a cast member, but they don't know who until they arrive on the day. OK. AJ, thanks very much indeed. Really interesting stuff. Um, of course, here, the, you know, this is where Weatherfield is. It's in, you know, it is in Greater Manchester and it's, you know, you, the weather as well. You get that very real, iconic Greater Manchester weather. <laughs> Never know what's going to happen with it. But I was told that the cobbles are such a draw, are such a feature, that sometimes people on these tours will bend down and kiss the cobbles. A little bit like going to visit the Blarney stone it's uh, it's quite the experience people bending down and kissing cobbles i'm not going to quite go that far this morning now you're in charlie but it is it is quite remarkable being here you know this this place that you see on telly night after night and to actually be walking in the footsteps of the likes of jack and vera ken and deirdre gosh you could go on naming them throughout the years